So the following problem says to solve the inequality and write your answer in interval notation. So we're going to solve the following inequality, and it looks like we're solving it for x. So for solving for x, the first thing we want to do is add this 1 on both sides. Negative 1 plus 1 cancels, so we drop down the minus 4x is less than or equal to, or negative 3 plus 1 is a negative 2. Then we're going to divide out the coefficient here, so we're going to divide both sides by negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 cancels, and we're dropping down x. And on the right side, negative 2 divided by negative 4. Negative over negative is positive, and 2 over 4 is going to simplify. So think a fraction here. All right, we're going to simplify this fraction by dividing out a 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we're left with a 1 half. Now, we do need to remember a special rule when it comes to inequalities that says when you multiply or divide by a negative, like we did here, we divided by a negative, you must flip the inequality symbol. So this less than or equal to is now going to become a greater than or equal to symbol. And you only do this when you multiply or divide by a negative. Okay? So we're left with x is greater than or equal to 1 half. And it wants us to write our answer in interval notation. Now, I like to go ahead and graph our answer on a number line because I feel like it gives us a better visual and helps us write our interval notation. Now, we're talking about the number 1 half. And it says x is greater than or equal to 1 half. Now, a greater than or equal symbol means we have a solid dot on 1 half. Or remember, that's represented by a bracket. And it says it's greater than or equal to 1 half, so everything greater than that is to the right. So we're going to be shading to the right here. So interval notation based off of this. So remember, interval notation is your leftmost answer, your rightmost answer. So our leftmost answer over here starts at 1 half, and then it goes, goes, goes off, and this points to the right direction here. So that means that it's going to go on and on and on, and that is a positive infinity. Now, because of this symbol greater than or equal to, a greater than or equal to symbol refers to a solid dot or a bracket by that number. And infinity is always going to have a parenthesis because you can never get to infinity. So this is what your interval notation is going to look like based off of this solution. Otherwise, that's it for this video.